drive my own and this is my skills audit. I can motivate myself to work independently. I already agreed with lifts, but I think I've improved when I was doing monologues with Laurie May and we had to write our own monologue and I had to mot motivate myself to work well so I could finish it and motivate myself when I was performing the monologues up here. So I think I've been proved on that. I work well as part of a team. I agreed with this already, but I think I've improved on it in the lessons with Daniela or Laurie May, where I was doing group work, like when we did the monologues in threes, and we had to work well so we can make it like um, Steve Burke style. And when we were doing dances, physical theatre, and all that, and we had to work well there. I am happy to take lead on group projects. Uh, I, I put kind of at the start, and I think I've improved a little, but I don't fully agree yet. Because uh, I, I find it better if we all put effort in as a team, and rather than one person taking over the entire thing. But I guess I will. I'm more likely to do it now than I was before. I am happy to experiment with ideas and su suggestions. Um, I agree with this already, and and that's because without experimenting with ideas and suggestions, you never go come up with one great idea. Cause it's all about trying new things. If it don't work, it don't work. But it's all about trial and error. So I agree with. I can select and reject appropriate material for performance. Yeah, I think I can because uh, when I was doing my monologues with Laurie May, I went through different ideas with the style of Stephen Burkhoff and what I liked about it and what I didn't. And we, I could tell when I was performing it back which was effective and which was not to the audience. I can critically evaluate my work. I thought kind of, but I think um, now I would agree with it. Because when you perform, like I said before, you can see what worked well, what didn't, and you can just feel it when you're performing as well. And when, and you can tell when your peers or tutors give you feedback as well. And then yeah, I agree with it. I can apply feedback effectively. I agree with that because every time I get feedback from work, I always apply it straight away. And when the tutors tell me this doesn't work or that, or that worked, try and do this with it next time, I always take it on board. So I agree. I can learn a script in time for a performance. I think this is one of my strong points, and I already agree. Oh, I just think it comes natural to me, and I find it easy. I can project my voice appropriately for the performance space. I agree, uh, because I've done this in many shows, I, and every time I'm even in just a room or the theatre, I always project so everyone can hear me. But so, I know sometimes I'm not projecting enough, but I, I know that's something I can improve on more. And like in Kuhu's Nest, what I did last year, that was further in the round. And we had to project differently with that than what you do for like pantomimes and stuff like that. I can build a character. I agree with this already because um, I, I know different like workshops you can do and tasks which you can help you build one. Like one obvious one is like hot seating, which we've done with our characters in Laurie May's lesson. Um, the, the exercise when you walk around as your character and you communicate to different characters, we did that. And that's a good exercise. I can use accents that are appropriate for character work. Um, I kind of, it's not my strongest point, accents, but I think, depending on the accent, I think I can do it. Like, in Laurie May's lesson, we had to do um, a hillbilly accent, 
and I gave it a go, and it wasn't too bad at it. But I think I, I think I could improve on my accents the more. I can communicate intentions to an audience. I I put I put kind of when I first did it, but I think I agree more because of the shows I've done and when I was on stage um, doing my monologue in Stephen Burke style, I think I communicated the intention well to the, my peers, well the audience. I can see doing acting performance. Um, yeah, I, I agree. I, but I still think it's not one of my strongest points and I think I can improve on it more. Because in the title, I, I know like the staging and what... I can correct if someone is doing staging wrong, but if I am on stage, sometimes I do it wrong and I don't notice, so I think I can improve on that. I understand how to use comedic timing effectively. I agree. I think this is one of my strong points, the comedy aspect. Um, I, I just think some of it comes natural. Like it's about when to say stuff and when to do stuff more than just saying a joke or a line. It's about, it's about timing. Yeah, everything. So I agree. I I understand how to structure a script. Uh, I know I kind of I don't think I've improved on this because we haven't done anything to help us develop on it. I know the basics of a structuring one, but I would like to do like a couple of lessons on this so I can further my understanding. I am confident in writing a script. Kind of. Well. In my own time, I've tried writing like a little bit of a script, but like I don't think it's some strong part, and I just think we, we could do some lessons based on that so I can improve. I am confident in devising performance work. Oh, I, I strongly agree with this, and think I've improved on it in the skills development project because of all the devising work we've done with physical fur, uh, dance, acting, and it's all been good work and I think I've done it well and I'm confident with it. So yeah, I agree. I am confident in directing scripted work. Um, kind of. I, I haven't really done it that much. I've directed helping someone on a devised scene, but that's not um, the same, but I think we could do a couple of lessons on that so I can improve because next year I will be writing a script and directing it. So I think I need to improve on that. I can create work that is appropriate for all, a range of audiences. Strongly agree. And I agree further with all the work we've been doing. Like the Palm Terror workshops where that's appropriate well uh, more like adults but we can transform that into so it's so capable of kids so I think I agree I can effectively warm up my focal cords I put kind of when I first did this but I, I think I agree now because in Laurie May's lessons uh, we've been doing like tongue twisters and all this vocal work so we can warm up our voices ready for the lesson and I think it's been great. Um, I understand what my vocal range is. Yeah. Kind of. I know what to be doing it. And oh. I'm not too sure actually. But I, I know it's helpful in performances, obviously projected wise and all that. I can confidently harmonise with group numbers. Yeah, I put kind of when I first did this, but I think I agree now because I feel more conf I'm confident with doing it with my peers and my mates and that. I think it's 
easy to do. I am confident in singing solo, but I disagree and I still disagree because I can't sing full stop. I don't know why. <laughs> I am confident in singing boy band ensembles. Oh yeah, <laughs> because then your voice isn't the main focus. And when I do it in groups, I don't um, always sing so loud so people can't hear me. So, you know. I can use my voice to create an atmosphere. Yeah, I, I agree with Forever because in the monologues we've been doing, I've been happy with Boy Me. I've been using that to create an atmosphere and to make my monologues better. Yeah. I can effectively warm up my body and understand the importance in doing so. I agree and I think I've improved further than that with the warm ups we've been doing with Daniela and when she was going through it all saying this don't do this, do this instead. And um, I led a couple of warm ups in the level ones and twos lesson. So I think I can warm it up. Yeah, it's pretty good. I'm confident in leading a physical warm up. Like I said, I think I've improved in that because like I said with the level ones and twos lesson. I did some of that and it was pretty easy. I was pretty confident about it. And I wouldn't mind doing one in level three. I can follow uh, a dance instructions correctly. Um, yeah, I, I agree because when we've been with Daniela doing the devolution dance, I think I followed it correctly. And even though sometimes it took me a while to learn moves, I still followed it right. I corrected myself. I am confident in dancing solo. Uh, I think I'm still kind of like I know we did like one piece of work with Mercy Cunningham where we had to dance solo, but that was only like a short ten second piece, and that was okay. But I still don't think I'm that confident in dancing solo. I am confident in dancing as a group. I always put I I agree. I can create a dance. Um, I put kind of, and I think I've improved slightly on it because I still have the Mercy Cunningham technique where you just show random, random movements to the paper and you just pick them out. And just by using random, by doing random moves as well, some of the moves can be helpful in your dance. You know, to put them in. I think interpretate the theme, the meaning of a dance. Um, I agree. Uh, well, I thought kind of, but I think I've improved further. Because in lessons, when we've been doing dance, or physical theatre, or, or work like that, um, we've been asking to, like, um, interpretate the dance, and say what you think it means, and all that. And I think I've improved on that. I can plan light and focus on. Uh, I put kind of and I still think about stage. I know the basic stuff about the lighting for performance, but we haven't done any lessons on it yet. So I don't think I've improved on it. I can plan sound for performance. Same as lighting, we haven't done anything on it, so I can't improve. Now can I dance? Uh, I Identify risk involved with putting on a performance. I put kind of, but I think I'm more agreeing now because we have to do a risk assessment for farm and terror, and it was pretty easy and wasn't as hard as I thought. I can fill out a risk assessment correctly. As I agreed and I still agree because we have to do a risk assessment again for farm and terror. It's pretty easy to fill out and it's quite straightforward. I understand how to raise light for different performances. I disagree, still, because we haven't done any lighting like, for performances yet, but would like to do so.
I understand the uh, uh, technical possibilities of selecting the file. Oh yeah, <laughs> I agree with it and I still agree because the technical side on technical performance makes the makes the performance much better than it already is. It adds so much more effect. If you just did it with actors on stage, it wouldn't be as good, in my, in my opinion. I can design a stage makeup look. I put kind of, and I'm still at kind of, because we learned how to do our old person's look, and thought lots about it, so I think I've improved on it slightly. I can confidently prepare a face for the application of stage makeup. Again, I'm still kind of because we did a little bit of work on makeup, but we didn't do too much on it, so I'd hardly improve. I can confidently apply and remove stage makeup following a brief. I put kind of, but I think I agree now because again, with the we learned that in the makeup lessons we did. I think it was pretty straightforward, and I think I'm improving it. That's all, folks.